Hey guys, welcome back to Celeb Craze. Today we'll talk about why Johnny Depp is actually the abuser. Let's head into it. To make a point, when Johnny Depp's high-profile level action against The Sun's publishers failed, the actor stated that the producers had asked him to leave from Fantastic Beasts 3. After weeks of speculation, the part of Johnny Depp was finally given to Danish actor Mads Mikkelsen in November. Actor Johnny Depp was refused permission to appeal a court verdict in March 2021, despite his strong denials. The trial judge provided substantial grounds for his decisions, which have not been demonstrated even conceivably to be vitiated by any error of method or mistake of law, according to the Court of Appeal Justices. What other ex-partners said about him? According to actress Ellen Borkin's recollections of Johnny Depp from their time together in the 1990s, he was a controlling, possessive, and furious guy. What's your destination? Borkin promised that Depp would approach her about it. How many friends do you have coming along with you? Inquiry? What did you do at night? I had a scrape on my back once that made him very, really angry. He said it originated from me having sex with someone who wasn't him. Barkin continued, In a previously filmed deposition that was aired in a Virginia courtroom Thursday, Barkin described her connection with death. In an attempt to undercut Johnny Depp's libel case against her, Heard's legal team is working hard. Depp claims that a Washington Post op-ed article written by Heard in 2018 unjustly depicted him as a domestic abuser and lost him a rich Hollywood career that included the Pirates of the Caribbean movie series. Depp has said that he was the victim of Heard's abuse and that he never hit her. Attorneys for Heard, however, argue that the denials lack credibility since the actor routinely drank and used drugs to the point of blacking out. Always drinking or smoking a joint or taking other illicit things, Barkin claimed in her deposition. According to her, she dated Depp for three to five months, during which time they had a more sexual than romantic connection. Barkin and Depp featured in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, which was directed by David Fincher. Barkin said that Depp hurled a wine bottle at her when they were shooting in a hotel room argument. She claimed though that she had no idea why he'd thrown the bottle at her. His lawyers believe that Depp Depp's fall from grace was due to his own poor conduct, not Hurt's op-ed. Actors testified about their experiences with drugs, money, and making it to film sets on time as the actor went from the greatest movie star in the world. Tracy Jacobs, the actor's longtime agent, revealed that Depp was coming up late to set routinely on practically every movie during their last years working together. I told him, you've got to stop doing this. This is harming you, Jacobs said, and it worked. Jacobs described Depp as a gift that actor, but claimed that in the years leading up to his firing her in 2016, his conduct had become more unprofessional and his drug and alcohol usage had risen. It also spread across the city. According to Jacob's account, it's a little town, so people chat to one another. As a result, he became a target for abuse. Pirates of the Caribbean catapulted him into an altogether other level of success, said Joe Mandel, Depp's former business manager, in a previously recorded deposition. According to Mandel, it meant additional workers. We had to acquire more land because of that. A longer and more costly life was on the horizon. As of 2010, it became evident over time that there were concerns with alcohol and narcotics, Mandel said. I found myself in situations where I couldn't have the type of talks I needed to execute my work because of my inconsistent and stressed conduct. In order to become clean and sober, Mandel claims that Depp was paying a doctor and other personnel close to $100,000 a month. His full-time staffing costs were estimated to be $300,000 a month. According to him, Depp spent hundreds of dollars a month on prescription medicines. There had been a dramatic increase in the amount people were willing to pay, and this necessitated a steady infusion of enormous funds to keep up with the rising costs. After then, the separation became unsustainable. When Mandel grew concerned about Depp's financial situation in 2015, Depp's response was enragement, according to Mandel. In 2016, he said the actor sacked him. One of Depp's longtime usual pals, Bruce Whitkin, said in a previously recorded deposition that the actor was prone to jealousy and personal relationships. When Heard was away shooting for a movie or doing anything that he couldn't be there to observe what was going on, Whitkin added, he showed his jealousy towards her. I believe he would put forth the effort. When Whitkin and Depp were filming a documentary on Keith Richards, he saw marks on Heard's arm after seeing Johnny Depp's big lip once. He claimed he never witnessed Johnny Depp 
or Amber Heard violently harm one another. While working with Depp on his drug usage, Witkin arranged for him to see a psychotherapist. He responded, I'll be okay, she recalls. I'm okay, Witkin remarked, remembering a chat he had with another person. You're not okay then. As Witkin recounted, Depp's sister, Christy Dombrowski, was constantly worried about his well-being particularly in light of his history of drug misuse. I believe everyone was, but the folks in charge won't say anything about it. As Whitkin put it, they will do their best, but they don't want to lose their jobs. Then, I'm not claiming that every one of them does. In the presence of individuals such as him though, it's a weird phenomenon. Everyone is looking for something, he said. The actor began to distance himself from Whitkin towards the end of 2017. According to Whitkin, Whitkin said that the man had sent her a bizarre text message, and what she claimed she had stabbed him and badmouthed him. When she asks, what are you talking about? Then he wouldn't provide an explanation for it either. For the most part, he hasn't been in my life since 2018. What do you think about the case? Tell us in the comments. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.